I hit it right here. Hit, hey, hit it in left field. Hit it in center field, same pitch. Woo. That's what hitters have to be able to do right there. He can do that, dude. I know he's on. He can be fucking hit the ball anywhere you tell him. All right, hey, got a special video for you. I got the man, Stance Dr. Steve, making an appearance on the video finally. All right, and then, hey, Mr. Tommy Tanks, Tommy What's going on? Evans 0 1. Right hits it well. Right center field to the wall. Go! Tommy Tanks again! Steve-O's been hit with this guy since he was how old? Nine. Nine years old. Look at this video. Since he was nine years old. All right, handcrafted him, sculpted him. So we're gonna go through a hitting routine with these guys today. He's gonna take you through his hitting routine. I just throw him out. So we're gonna do some front hand connection drills, work, working the elbow path, forearm path on the ball path, wherever we put that ball, that forearm knob should follow that path of that pitch there, just to get loose nice and easy. Yeah, first one's the worst. Oh, sometimes he's camera shy. Let your elbow work. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> there you go, see? Tommy's an actor now. Yeah, big league chew. Yeah, big league chew, camel <laughs> soup. Yeah, with that, that's coming soon. Well, that left elbow more towards the grind. There you go. Now, backhand. Up extension. Nice and easy. What did they do? <laughs> wow. Get yeah. the extension there. Roll that thing through. Roll that knob. There you go. Oh, I hit that machine over there. There we go. All right. He'll be good now. Watch it. Really just no stride. Just easy. Two, two legs to a power V extension. We call it power V. Stop at extension. Working our direction to the right center field. Yeah, they're hitting that too. We always work the high tee first to create a good pass. So if your path's off, the high tee will set you up for a good, good session, usually. Yeah, usually. Usually. And then we'll go ahead and we'll move it back a little bit deeper. Uh, heads up over here. And then we'll let it swing a little bit. One more. And that way, hit time. There you go. All right, that was nice. Yeah. Let's go swings, high tee, couple full swings. So we're gonna hit that net over there. The object here is to hit low, hard line drive to right center field. Warm up the path. Up the middle. Yeah, you're good today. Yeah. The warm up was shit, but those were good. Hold a little Go back just a hair more. But we keep it kind of deep and low to work middle. Ah. You can set this ball up, but you can hit this ball right up the middle, then anything else is easy to catch out front whenever you want. Well, we're going low and in to work on that path with the elbow. Uh, that's it, right? I don't know. Uh, it, it's, good to, it's, good to, it's good to hit that pitch up the middle. Yeah. The low and in works the front elbow. If, the, if a lot of people roll over too much, so the low and in hitting up the middle allows you to kind of keep that elbow forward. We're going in good direction. If you can hit out dead center field, you can have left field easily, you know, so that's our goal. Drive the ball middle hard, 400 feet. Double in the gap. That's a miss. Come on. I hit it right.
right here. Hit it right here, low and hard. Hit, hey, hit it in left field. Same pitch. Hit it center field. Same pitch. See, when you're good, you do that. Hit it here, hit it there, hit it here. Watch what happens. Woo. That's what hitters have to be able to do right there. He can do that, dude. I know he's on. He can be fucking hit the ball anywhere you tell him. I could probably tell him to hit it straight up, but he'd do it. You know? Yeah, but I I showed Thomas your swing earlier, by the way. Listen to me when I tell you, you're fucking identical to when you were like 10, 11. It's like the same, the same motion, the same, yeah. the same. It's fucking awesome. It's like, he goes, holy shit, it looks the same. I was like, yeah, it does. It's crazy. So it works for me. Crazy. That's the big thing. All I needed was to fix my swing one time and never again. But you know why? Your style has never been changed. Like the yeah. way you do it. Like you used to like. Well, when I it. when I first started, I was like this. No, you were a bullshit. Oh yeah, first day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. first. First. But then you started doing like a leg kick thing. And also, shit, we didn't change it because yeah. it, it worked for you. You know. Because of the stupid ass fake pie in the face, <laughs> fake mud shit in the face, <laughs> I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he he, he created he created an invention for me. <laughs> Just me. It was this pole, this PVC pipe that hanged down on a rope. It went right in front of my face. So every single you time I stride, probably somewhere. I would there. stride, and I'd like I back have to back up, or if the pole hit me in the face, <laughs> in the face. then it, then I, I came too far. Yeah. So that's what taught me to go right down. And as he got older, I said, "Act like there's a pile of shit in front of your face. Would you go in front of the shit, or would you stay behind it?" And he yeah. learned how to. So I didn't do that when he was ten. <laughs> so lower away now. Drive the ball right center. This way we're gonna work depth the other way. Then we'll move it back out front to the middle. You hit it if you do that, you know you're home. Oh no. Yeah, a little deeper. Got it. Repeat. Alright, so good. I'm glad he missed. The only time I'll ever change a style and tell someone how to stand or how to stride is when it affects their timing or path. The timing or path is bad. If the path is wrong, obviously we've got to fix something. If they're diving in, they're changing their path, or their timing is always off. So that's the only time we'll dive in. Otherwise, we leave them be, let them be athletes their entire lives, and we work on that same thing over and over and over for 10 million swings. That's our goal. All right, outside pitch, catch it out front. Looking for it. Ah, I'm choking on video. Pull this outside pitch left field. Let it get really deep, go down the line to right field. Yep. So you can do whatever you want on that pitch, man. I love it. Alright. Good job, T. You're going up and in deep. That's good though. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't up, sorry, my bad. Faster slow. Here we go. Two strikes, right? Two strikes. How long have you been doing uh, no strike, two strikes? Um, since like my junior year of high school. I think he like showed it to me. And I was like, I'm never doing that. Like I lose all my power. Yeah. But then like as soon as junior started, because I can't balls out these. Yeah. I was like, you know what, I'm tired of striking out, so I got the two strike approach going. I think he cut down like so many strikeouts. A lot of strikeouts. He struck out a lot as a freshman, yeah. so we added it in as his repertoire. However, he forgets when he was nine, we always start learning everything with no stride. Every swing we ever take for like a year with no stride. Because that, we want to build that base in to be able to stride, no stride, or leg kick anytime we want. Yeah. So he had it in, he just didn't do it. Now, it was easy for him to pick up. Yeah, but, if you look at like, like all like the MLB guys and everything, like most everybody's the same at toe tap. It's right here, they drop and go. So my two strike approach is literally just like that. Like that, as soon as everybody strides, it's like my my toe will be pointed out and stuff. Like so, I'm right here. So all I gotta do is go. So I just do a rock and go. 
Well, that's like, what, what do you say? You say don't rely on momentum to swing? Yeah. You rely on momentum to swing. Yeah. Rely, rely on, on torque to swing. You know, momentum creates the stakes out front, you know? Yeah, because two strikes, I'm not trying to hit the ball 500 feet. I'm just trying to get a base hit. So, like, yeah. I can hit a double off the ball like this. I can hit it out like this. No. Like, and why is I that? Mean, I just feel more like I see the zone better and everything because I'm lower and everything. My head doesn't move at all. So, like, my zone stays the same throughout the whole entire process of that two-strike pitch. But what he's good at is he anticipate pitches early with less than two strikes. So you can stride if you know what's coming. If I say curveball's coming every time, he'd hit every one of them, right? Yeah. But if I say curveball's coming, throw a fastball by him, he strides, he's gonna be late. Yeah. So the idea with two strikes is to minimize that that risk, you know? So and take even, away the even risk. with the two strike approach, like if I'm like, all right, he's probably gonna come curveball here with two strikes, but then that fastball comes, I can just I'm like I'm right there so I can foul it off until I do get the curveball and then I can drive with two strikes. Or slider, or whatever they got. That's yeah, whatever. A good changeup is the best pitch in baseball, no doubt. All right, two strike mode. Here we go. Two strike mode. Here we go. Finish up with daddy hacks down the middle as hard as we can. We let him rip. We have fun at the end. Why we don't do this first? Because he gets tired. Everybody does. So make sure it's fun at the end, right? Show me a finish all the way around. Let it rip. <laughs> yes. What he does, young kids, please watch and listen. He doesn't showboat. He hits that ball, he starts jogging. Half the time he's sprinting to first base, doesn't even realize it's out. Make sure you know you don't show up the other team. Just have fun out there. Be humble, because they'll come back and haunt you really quickly if you're not, right? <laughs> your, your four for four turned into over four really quickly. So oh, stay nice. humble. Learn from him, watch him. 30 games, man. You didn't, did you pimp any of them? One. Three. Three? Yeah, you yeah, pimped three out of three. It was all at Louisville, though. All three pimp jobs were at Louisville. So there's a reason for that. There was a little one tension. Them, there was a little course. tension ahead of time. Hey, okay, no, then you show them up. One of them was 476, though. So like, <laughs> change up going right now is keeping them off base and, and able to uh, slap. He's able uh -oh, to slap. Coach. Yeah, no. He's uh -oh. able to slap that curve. He's able to slap that curve in there pretty good, too. Tommy just hit another one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. It was a pop fly into the wind. I went 476. I mean, I'm not going to just like, eh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Right, you're bad foot. Foot <laughs> but I did hit another home run that game, but I did sprint out because I didn't think it was gone, but I did go out. <laughs> your, first, hey, your first home run you ever hit in college. Did you did you just I run? sprinted. <laughs> I sprinted so fast. I was at second base before I went out. I sprinted. Hit the top. That was your first game. Hit, hit the batter's eye. And I was sprinting. Three. Three? Three. Oh, yeah, I hit I, I hit three against Evansville and three against Miami. I had two three home run games. Oh shit. I remember that. The shitty pitchers, you're supposed to do that. Yeah, but then like they're like, they're like oh, it's Evans or whatever. But then I did it three home runs with Miami against Palm Coast. Gross. Whatever. If I can hit the real thing, that's all that matters. Whatever. Nah, that's good. I think I used the machine with him until we were probably three years in the stance over there. We yeah. always flip through because it's, it's easier to time, you know? It's, 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 A lot of people say that. Yeah. That's what I was trying to tell you about that. And then there's people that live by it. You yeah. Know? yeah. 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 Okay, I go by that, right? The machine. Remember the big, the big guy on ESPN? He'd go to the batting cage, big ball, heavy guy, right? Go to the batting cage, scoot 10 feet up, go, oh, yeah! 75, right? Number, so, that's a machine. 9,862 swings, yeah. having this. <laughs> My like, point is, he couldn't, he couldn't hit 
Chris Sale. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So there's a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. Big difference. That yeah. guy, man. Unreal. <laughs> that was the funniest video yeah. ever. You get Mike Trout or whoever over there. <laughs> Shut up. That guy's a legend, though. That was a KD60. That guy's a legend. Shut up, dude. I do, I've done the same thing with the machines of sand software. I get, like, right up next right to up it. Right on it. And it's like, it, does, it really doesn't make you better. But like you said, it's good for, I think it's good for maybe if you can't throw a good breaking ball, it's good to see a good breaking ball. Right, yeah. but for fastball, yeah, I know the breaking ball machines on the jet. Is that a wrap? You gotta get on a boat. Have any final remarks? Um, to tell the kids. Um, pimping ain't easy. Pimping yeah, ain't easy. For real. <laughs> nah, just don't suck, man. <laughs> so <don't, laughs> You know, that's the Sam's Doctor motto, man. Just don't I'll suck. Bring yeah, you got it. You got to bring it back. But I mean, it's just like, just go up there. Like if that pitcher thinks he's. He's the shit, man. Just act, you gotta be ten times better than the guy. You gotta, I just act like it. Even if you suck, just act like it. Just like walk up there, you know, act like you're the shit. And like it'll pay off because then eventually you are the shit. Eventually it'll pay off. Eventually, like you'll believe in yourself. Any final remarks, Steve? No, I think uh, simple. Keep it simple. You notice we don't do crazy drills. We never have. If you see some cool stuff on YouTube, you can try and have fun with it, but it's not gonna make it better. Okay. They're, swinging is swinging. Parts of the swing is more important than a uh, drill. And I always say that for years and years and years. Swing the bat through your same positions. Do drills through the same positions. Get good at those. From there to there is all that matters. Everything else doesn't matter. Go hit. All righty. Hey, remember, pump out two of these per week. Do me a favor and subscribe. Appreciate you. Catch you next week. It was like 10 and 10 on the incline and flat bench yesterday in the garage with my classic suit on. Just get a crazy pump. <laughs>